possible. And considering that, uh, society here is definitely not doing a very good job. <laughs> You might feel that being forced to train the kata over and over having to do this angle, this <laughs> angle every time is like killing personality. But it's the opposite. Yeah. It's the opposite way around. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have my wife, Harumi, next to me. Hi. So guys, as you have seen in our recent video, Harumi actually did her first performance of Nihonbuyo, Japanese traditional dancing. And when many of our viewers, when they find out that Harumi is actually dancing the Nihonbuyo, the Japanese traditional dancing, a lot of people have been asking us, what is your opinions on Sayuri? from Memoirs of Geisha and her yeah. snow dance, it's yeah. called in English, I believe. Unfortunately though, for some reason, probably because there are a few problems with that movie, we can't watch it in Japan though. Mm. It's not available on Netflix, it's not available on Amazon Prime, but some of the clips of the dance itself was on YouTube, so mm. today we would love to react to Sayuri's snow dance. Mm. But before we get started, um, we are not here to try to criticize the movie at all though. No, 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 no. Mm. we haven't been able to watch the movie itself. We didn't like read the storylines to try to understand the movie, but we were just here to give our opinions, you know, from our experiences and such, to tell you if the dance is actually from Nihon Buyo or not. Even if it's not, I mean, we're not trying to say that it's bad or anything. Mm. Yeah, please just understand this. We're just sharing our ideas with you. And also the fact that Harimi has only been training for an year as yeah, well is something that I want you to keep year. in mind as well. Mm. Harimi will continue to get better from here, but currently she has only has one year of experience. In this channel, we react to videos related to Japanese history and culture. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy our content. <laughs> Did you just hit your hand? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then let's start reacting to the video. Yay. We hit our hands now too. Yay. Yeah. We're bumping into each other. Okay, so here we are, Memoirs of Geisha, mm. Snow Dance. Let's start taking a look at it. This is Sayuri. She's Sayuri. coming out, right? On stage. Beautiful. The, what kind of stage, stage is this? Is I think this is the Hanamichi. Oh, maybe. Mm. Oh, Takagata. that's the Takageta. Okay. Mm, Watanabe Ken. Takagi. He is so young in this yeah. movie. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, very beautiful she is. Mm. She's a Chinese actor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. Can I stop here? Of course. I, actually, this is really interesting. The Chojing uh -huh. is written the lanterns. Hanamachi. Oh, it's written a Hanamachi, <laughs> hanamachi. <laughs> on the lanterns? Yeah. <laughs> really funny. Okay. Hanamachi are it's just a general term that represents the entertainment district. <laughs> so you, if you would write something on the lanterns, you would probably write a specific name of mm. a place, you know? It's hanamachi. a little bit weird, I guess. <laughs> Because Harumi stopped in here, mm -hmm. um, the Takageta we mentioned a little bit early in the beginning, mm -hmm. it's something that usually the Oiran are probably famous for wearing. Oiran and of course, we meant Tayu, uh, tayu yes. Mm -hmm. Aoi Tayu san was mm -hmm. also talking about it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sayuri is Hangyoku? I have no idea. <laughs> it's really complicated, you know. It, um, after in this scene, we see her wearing uh, Maiko kimono yeah. with the Darariobi, right? Yeah. But it's called the Memoirs of Geisha, mm. which is supposed to be in the Kanto region. Because in mm. Kyoto, where Maiko wears the Darariobi, they're supposed to be called Geiko. Mm. So it's all mixed together. So mm, yeah, I think we, so. we don't we, we can't say if Saidi is a Maiko or a Geiko or a Hangyoku or a Geisha. We, we don't even know which one mm. she belongs to. Because I. See See the sleeves mm -hmm. is really long. Yes. So it's close to Furisode, but she's wearing Takageta and the hair is not tied. So I don't know what character is she. That is true, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. I'm pretty sure she's not acting as a ghost, is she? She looks a little bit scary to me. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. I don't yeah. think it's a human. Yeah, 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 exactly, mm. exactly. I don't know. But well, there are dances in Nihonbyo that mm. where you act as non-human yeah, things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that does happen, mm. but but mm. if she's mm. in the rank of a person who would wear takageta, mm -hmm. which would be a tai, taiyu or a oiran, mm. a very high rank women, right? Mm. In that case, she wouldn't carry her own umbrella by herself. That's so that's true. another, mm. you know, part that's a little bit strange, mm. a weird combination there. You would usually have someone else carry the umbrella for yeah. you. In mm. our level, we don't know what yeah, 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 she yeah. Exactly, exactly. represents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and it's really starting to snow. This is... How would they do this? Yeah. Oh, is she crying? Mm. Oh, and that's probably supposed to be ah. the Soto Hachimonji too, the way ah, she's walking. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, kind of? Maybe Uchi Hachimonji? Yeah. And you wanted to stop this here? Mm. Mm -hmm. The the facial emotion, I usually thought that we can't have facial emotion in Nihonbuyo. Mm, you're not mm. supposed to have any facial expressions, A expression. right? Expression, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. if you want to express your uh, feelings or yeah. emotion, mm -hmm. you would do with your movement. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Mm. With your movement. It's similar to no. Exactly, exactly, mm. that's right. What? Why can't you have facial expressions in Nihonbuyo, by the way? Mm. Hmm. I think it's really similar to how no theater. In no theater, we aren't allowed to have any facial expressions either. But originally, no theater and Japanese traditional dancing is different. Mm. Very, very different, yeah. But this having no facial expressions is something that we do have in common. Mm. And believe from what Harumi is trying to explain, mm. I think the reason is exactly the same, actually. So basically, you don't want to force your emotions mm. or what you want to express mm. towards the audience. You want the audience to imagine what you are trying to express. Mm. So I always explain it's really close to watching a movie or reading a novel. Mm. Basically, if you watch a movie, you can see the characters move around, their facial expressions, you know, and all of that. But if you read a novel or if you read the lines, it's up to your imaginations mm. to decide mm. like, what they look like or what they're feeling and such. Mm. Mm. So the fun part of watching Japanese stage arts is for your imaginations mm. to fill in the parts that mm. you're freely able to decide. So if someone is like obviously crying like this, there's no space left for your imaginations mm. to play, you know, mm -hmm. and spread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why it's all up to your movements to express those expressions. It's not your face to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the same in no theater too. Mm -hmm. I think that's really, really interesting. When I uh, dance like hip hop or jazz dance, mm -hmm. we usually must have facial expression. Smiling, yeah, or, smile or, or uh, having mm -hmm. fun, cool expression. Energetic, yeah. Energetic. And the face is really important in the a hip hop and jazz dance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, but it's the completely opposite in mm -hmm. Nihonbuyo. Yeah, mm. I mean, even in no theater, we actually hide our faces with the masks, right? Mm. To erase our facial expressions. Mm. And even if, when we dance without the masks, it's mm. called kitamen. Mm. kitamen, human masks, oh, it's called. Kitamen. So you're not allowed to have any facial expressions. Mm. So I think that's really, really interesting. Mm. So now she is like uh, showing her teeth. Yeah. And almost crying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is definitely not Nihonbuyo's expression. Mm -mm. No, mm, no, 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 no. This movement, I heard it's really difficult. Yeah, it takes mm. full three years to be mm. able to master. Mm -hmm. She must be practice a lot. I'm not too sure if it's correct, though. Yeah. <laughs> she, ah. It might be her uh, unique way of doing it. Yeah, really? This one I brawling in front of her right now. Yeah, like here. Ooh, yeah, the movements it's really... are big. <laughs> Whoa, 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 mm. swinging around. Oh, and she <laughs> took off her shoes now. Oh, she's covered in snow or whatever it is that's falling on her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Swing around. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's, it's a... I really don't know what she is. She's a... Oh, she literally fell down. Hmm. Oh my god, is she okay? See, she, it's a little scary, isn't it? Whoa, Whoa, how flexible is that? Wow. Wow. I know her, like, don't you read? Uh huh. The act Actress, mm -hmm. she's very good at dancing. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Well, obviously you can see mm. that, yeah. Okay, okay, that's the end of the dance. Whoa, okay, so uh, just taking a look at this last part where it gets really, really fast and mm. uh, movements are super big, it absolutely does not look like Japanese traditional dancing, though. I don't think it's mm. Japanese traditional dancing. It's mm. absolutely not something um, a Maiko or a Geiko or a Hangyoko or a Geisha would ever do. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's definitely not the type that they would dance. Mm. The biggest difference with mm -hmm. the Nihonbuyo and this dance yes. is she's expressing the emotion of 
this moment. Yeah. On the stage. Explosion. Yeah, yeah. yeah explosion. Uh -huh. It's absolutely not a kata, right? Mm, no, 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 mm. no, no, no. Nihonbuyo is a sequence of kata. Mm. So every movement is like fixed. Oh, okay, mm. okay. Like if you are feeling sad, there are a movement like this. Mm -hmm. But this angle of the face mm -hmm. and angle of this hand mm -hmm. is really important. And on the stage, I need to do this angle. Like it's mm -hmm. really fixed. Okay, okay. So okay. there's no space for mm -hmm. me to express like, I feel like this, so I want to uh, Make sense. dance Make sense. like this. Like, uh -huh, but there's uh -huh. no space of that. And also, the second thing I noticed mm -hmm. is the movement is not for kimono. I think. Oh, interesting. Mm. Yeah, yeah. My sensei usually, like, when I uh, raise my hand at the hand's angle, she will say, Is that angle make kimono beautiful? Oh, okay, mm. okay. So, these movements, I don't think it's express the kimono's beauty. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's all in mess. Yeah, yeah, it's all mm. messing going all over the place. Mm. So, for example, if sensei said, Please open your hand, it's for this wide, right? It's wide. For 45 degrees is the maximum. Because uh -huh. if you open like here, yeah, yeah, yeah. the kimono would not look beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The audience, you want to show your audience your kimono. If you go this back, they can't see it anymore. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's definitely not beautiful. So in the first uh, movement, she mm -hmm. was doing like this, right? Mm -hmm. Like this angle. Pressing. Yeah. This this angle would not happen, I think. Uh, will. Okay, okay, uh, going back to the first part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's so many movements is not making kimono beautiful. Mm, interesting. Mm. Yeah, your sensei was saying that at the beginning of your performance when she mm. was saying her greetings. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. the um, how to enjoy Japanese traditional dancing. Mm. Yeah, to make the kimono look beautiful mm. is the perp one of the purposes of mm. Japanese traditional dancing nihonbyo. So, and considering that, uh, Saudi here is definitely not doing a very good job. <laughs> Especially falling literally on the floor would yeah. probably damage the kimono a lot. So mm. not a very good idea, I think. Yeah, it looks not under control. I would uh, say. Yeah, 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 that's the point. That's the point. Yeah, yeah. We need to do all the movement under our control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she won't be able to, to do the same dance every time, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they need to be able to be repeated mm. if necessary. So. That this word is. Yeah, I, okay, okay. I got the right answer, guys. <laughs> it's mm. a kind of beauty, I think. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. That, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. We're not trying to criticize yeah, this. But. This is really beautiful because mm. it's only one thing. Yeah, only exactly, one exactly. Time. Because you can't repeat it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a kind of beauty, but it's not a Nihonbuyo. Exactly, that's the mm. point. Mm -hmm. Do you have names for each movement in the kata of Nihonbuyo too? Yeah, 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 we have oh, all the okay. movements. Yeah. Like if you take a look at our training live streams whenever Harumi does the dancing, mm. even if she learned a new dance, there's a lot of movements that she ha has done in her different dances before too. Mm. Yeah, like the uh, Mitsukubi, you know, mm. where you move your neck mm. three times mm. like this. Mm. Yeah, that happens a lot too. So yeah, these yeah. all have names as well, right? Because mm. that's exactly the same in no theater. Well, no, in no theater, there is no theme of trying to make the kimono look beautiful. Oh no, there is. Yeah, there is the same thing too. No theater has the same thing of making the kimono look beautiful. Well, specifically speaking though, in no theater it's not kimono, it's shouzoku though. Yeah, and each character has its very unique shouzoku. Mm. So of course, um, in order to show the shouzoku beautifully, mm -hmm. you would have to do the certain movements mm. properly. Mm -hmm. So it's just like martial arts, you know, Budo martial arts, we practice the kata, you know, try to be very accurate every single time, mm. and practice repeatedly over and over and over. Mm. Yeah. Same thing even in the dancing mm. as well. Mm -hmm. It's probably meant so that the culture can be carried down easier because mm. everyone can practice the kata and everyone can get to a certain level mm. and will be able to express the same expressions and emotions and stories and mm. such. Everyone will be able to carry down longer down history, mm. right? I think that's one of the really main reasons why a lot of Japanese traditional culture were able to be carried down to this day, mm. thanks to all of the kata. Mm. If it was like, it's up to you, to your creativity, then the <laughs> shape wouldn't last that long, yeah, right? Yeah, the yeah. format wouldn't last that long enough. We said there's many, many kata and it's all fixed, but mm -hmm. different personality plays the same role. The mm -hmm. dance is completely different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no facial emotion, the kata is the same, the, the music is the same, mm -hmm. but it's different. Yes. Exactly. In Japan for a long time, it was believed that any form of art, even tea ceremonies too, mm. it's about expressing your soul. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why you try to hide your physical movements and such, you try to restrict it, mm. hide it, 
as much as possible. And from the in-between of those rules, your character starts to show as you continue training. It's the same in tea ceremony too. We are taught to do the same movements over and over and over. And then is everyone the same? The answer is absolutely no. You might feel that being forced to train the kata over and over having to do this angle, this angle every time is like killing personality. But it's the opposite. Yeah. It's the opposite way around. By doing the same things over and over, everyone training the same things over and over, everyone's character stands out actually. Because no matter how much we do the same things, we can't be the same. Mm. Because everyone knows that this person is going to be doing this kata, mm. but sees the different points. You'll be able to recognize that person's mm. characteristics mm. even easier than just letting everyone do things randomly. Mm. So I think that's a really unique beauty. Unique beauty. Mm, in Japanese mm. culture. I really love that part. Mm -hmm, mm. Exactly, exactly, yeah. But again, that is not expressed in this dance though, mm. unfortunately. Mm. Mm. It's completely 100% creative, yeah, mm. and uh, it's up to Sayuri to do this dance mm. probably. Mm -hmm. So this does not follow the basic rules of any Japanese traditional culture, mm. not mm. just Nihonbuyo, yeah, you yeah, would yeah. say. So if the question is, is this Nihonbuyo? The answer is no, mm. but it's a type of beauty and we love it. Yeah, mm. I think it's very, very amazing that she was mm, able to amazing. do this. Mm -hmm. so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. It was really, really fun watching Sayuri's mm. dance. And it's a little bit sad that we aren't able to watch the full video. Ah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's actually a few videos or movies in Japan that we can't watch due to some reasons. Yeah, due to some reasons. Exactly. Mm. But if there's any other videos or movies you'd like us to react to mm. that's related to Japanese traditional culture, please let us know in the comments. We'll love to take a look at it. Maybe I'll be doing more uh, um, videos uh, related to katana and such, mm. maybe in the future Japanese traditional instruments like the chakwachi or the koto that Amin mean, does and such. So it'd be great if you can let me know your ideas in the comments. Mm. And by the way, if you're interested in Japanese traditional dancing, the video that we mentioned about Harumi's performance, at the end there'll be a full performance of Harumi Sensei who has been mm. dancing since she was two years old. Yeah. Or like more than 30 years at, at minimum. Mm. Yeah, more than 30 years. So I hope you can take a look at that. And also if you'd like to watch even more, you can take a look at our weekly training live streams. Um, Harumi will, will be showing her progress in her training in Hongbyo once in a while, so you can check that out as well. Little by little. Little by little, <laughs> you are definitely getting better. And you'll be watching my no theater dancing along with mm. it as well. And we'll see you in our next React video. We really hope you enjoyed watching. Bye bye, thank you so much.